welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris Galt. I'm the author of My Journey to the Fountain of Youth, which is a book that you can get on Amazon that has a bunch of tips on how to look and feel as young as possible as you age. Uh, today is part five of my five part series on how to um, grow your hair back. When I first started this about a, a year and a half ago, I had actually no hair on the top of my head. And you can see there's some there now. There's still not a lot. I'm still working on it, but it's all natural. Uh, I don't have any hair transplants or anything like that, but I actually am growing my hair back. Um, so these things do work and I'm going to continue to work on these. So I'm hoping that in a year from year and a half from now or so, I actually have a full head of hair um, and we'll see how it goes. But you keep tuning in, you'll see how my hair looks because you'll, you'll see me. Um, so the first one was a massage method. I think that's the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. Um, that's where you beat your head up with the massages uh, uh, twice a day for 20 minutes. I have a, a video on that so you can see that. Um, that is what really I think got most of my hair back. Um, there's the derma roller method which I think is an excellent uh, uh, way to also uh, get blood flow to the head because what you're doing is you're putting micro abrasions into your scalp. It's very safe. I know it doesn't sound like it, but it is. And you can see that video, and that's how you can get uh, the trick the body to, to say that it needs to heal the scalp because you put little abrasions up there and blood flow goes there. And as long as you're eating a good diet, it'll bring great nutrients to your hair and help it grow. The third one was the inversion method where you actually get your head uh, below your heart and that way you get blood to, to rush to your hair. So there's a common theme here as you can see, and that is your hair will grow if you can get blood to it and get nutrients to it. And that's, that's what the inversion method would actually help with that and all these other ones will too. Hair mask I went over, which is oils, different types of oils that you can use and you can see that video. And that's really to protect the hair and help it grow longer, faster. Um, but not necessarily help it regrow like from from scratch like some of the other methods can do But it really does keep the hair healthy And so today I'm going to talk about some other tips that I picked up uh, along the way that could be beneficial to you and uh, We'll get right to it Okay, let's get to it. So the first thing that I really realized uh, that I shouldn't have been doing um, all along is, you know, I would take a shower in the morning and I would wash my hair and then I would work out somewhere in the middle of the day uh, and I would wash my hair again. And it just, it just really, I was really beating up my hair. I was drying it out and that's not really the way to go. And so some people actually say, like Rob at perfecthealth.com, perfecthairhealth.com, um, would say don't wash your hair at all um, and I know it sounds a little hippie-ish uh, I'm not there yet but it actually works for him because he has a full head of hair uh, but I would say at least if you're gonna at least you know cut back and now I actually shampoo once or twice a week and that way my hair actually um, doesn't dry out that much and actually does just grow I do condition it every time I take a shower um, conditioner is a little different. Um, I also, when I do condition and shampoo, I try to pick the most organic or natural product out there. That way I know I'm not putting a lot of chemicals on my head. I know a lot of people talk about sulfates, uh, sodium lauryl sulfate is bad for the hair. I'm not 100% sure which way I'm on that. Um, I know there are people who say it's not so bad. There are some people who say that it's bad. Um, I just know that if I pick a shampoo that doesn't have it and that's more clean and has less chemicals, I'm probably better off. So that's what I tend to do. Holy shit. I also, I don't, I used to dry my hair like this. And you know, when I was done, there'd be hair, even though I didn't have that much hair, there'd be hair in the, in the towel. Um, so now I just pat my hair dry very, very softly so that um, I don't really get, I don't really rip the hair out of, out of, out of my scalp and I need to protect as much hair as I can. So I pat my hair dry. I also, um, I try not to use uh, the hair dryer that much. And um, so what I, uh, what I will do sometimes, I do use it, is I'll put it on the cool mode. And that way I'm not blowing a bunch of hot air. And what I found, and I don't have to worry about this, but a lot of heat tools that a lot of women tend to use when they're curling their hair, 
tends to beat up the hair an awful lot, so I would try to stay away from that if you can. Uh, I know you're probably going to do it sometimes, but the, the more you can not put heat on your hair, which dries it out and makes it brittle and beats it up, the better off you are, so I would try to minimize that. Um, I would also say drink a lot of water. Um, I, I, I do have a video on how much water you should drink. There's actually a mathematical equation based on your body weight on how much water you should drink. But you could do all this great stuff for your hair, but if you don't have the right nutrients and hydration, the blood is not going to be able to bring that to the hair. And it's just, you know, you, you could be doing all this work for nothing. So I do recommend drinking a, a lot of water and you can see that video that actually goes into how much. Um, the other thing is to uh, eat healthy. And there's certain foods that actually I found help to grow the hair better than others. Walnuts, good for the hair. <clears throat> I can eat these all day long. Um, but, but basically when I say eat healthy, and there is, I have a video on that too, you can go look at. Um, but basically what you want to do is not eat um, a bunch of processed junk and garbage. Try to stick with mostly organic, lean proteins, healthy fats, and, and uh, good carbs that are out there. There are some that are out there. I mean, eating a bag of Doritos is not good, but eating quinoa uh, would be a pretty good uh, option, or uh, vegetables, obviously. So let me talk about some foods uh, in the next slide um, that you can eat that actually helps to grow your hair. Okay, so a few healthy uh, uh, foods that I have picked up uh, that actually do help your hair grow. Um, almonds and walnuts, they have great magnesium, uh, vitamin E and biotin, and that's really going to help. You always, everyone hears about biotin and how biotin, um, you know, helps the hair grow. It's a vitamin, it, so it, it just, it just works so well for the hair. So I would definitely recommend eating almonds and walnuts for that. Magnesium will help uh, calcium to dissolve uh, back to the bone in that, in the first video about massages where you break up that calcium that gets in between your scalp and your skull you, you want that calcium to dissolve into the scalp so magnesium is really good for that um, eggs are a very good source of all sorts of great stuff but also has biotin in it as well um, spinach has iron so it's all gonna be about blood flow um, iron in the blood it just is gonna help bring the nutrients to your to your hair. Um, salmon has a, those great omega-3s, a lot of, uh, what, that's where when I talk about healthy fats, salmon has great healthy fats in it. Um, bone broth, I drink uh, bone broth every night. I mix, I mix, I actually get a beef and chicken and turkey bone broth. I just mix it all together in a big container that I drink during the week and I have one cup uh, at night. I just heat it up because it doesn't taste that good um, unless you heat it up and then it tastes like soup. So if you want to do bone broth, it actually does a great job of bringing collagen, uh, which is not only good for your hair, but it's also good for your skin and joints. Um, and then collagen supplements, I actually take a type 1 and 3 collagen supplement. I actually do have a video on that too, um, on vitamins and supplements that I take. And one of them is in the morning, I take a collagen 1 and 3, type 1 and 3 um, supplement every morning that I think works really well to help grow the hair back. Avocado is another healthy fat. I put that in my shake that I have after my workout, and I have that every day. Um, and then sweet potatoes, I also throw in there too, uh, into my shake. Um, I put a lot of stuff in shakes. I'm gonna have a video on videos on my morning shake and also my after workout shake, which is the after workout shake is kind of crazy. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't recommend it for everybody because I put a lot of stuff in it. Um, but I'm also trying to gain weight and muscle mass, but if you're trying to lose weight, it's probably not the best shape, but you'll check that out in the next, in the following weeks to come. Um, and, uh, and sweet potatoes also have vitamin A and beta carotene in it, and that is going to help your hair grow. So these are my tips on how to um, grow your hair back. Um, just, you know, follow these as best you can. I know uh, it'd be hard to do all of these things. So what I would recommend is, you know, go back to that main menu of um, you know, the massage method and the derma roller method. Try some of those at first. Um, also, you know, change your diet up so that's healthier if it isn't already. Um, but just do it slowly, slowly get into it and just know that um, hair grows slow. You know, it doesn't grow fast. So these kind of, I know there's videos out there that say grow seven inches of hair overnight. You know, that's, that's just not realistic. I don't care what kind of hair style you have. 
it's, it's just not going to grow like that. So just know that it's going to take time. And if you are growing your hair from scratch, like I was on the top of my head, um, it does come in like baby hair at first. So it's very, it's white and it's very weak. Um, you have to be very careful with it. And then eventually it starts to get its color back and it starts to get stronger and thicker. It's very thin when it comes in. So just know it's just going to take time, but follow these and you will get there. And I hope the best for you, and um, I will talk to you in the next uh, video. Thanks! If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button, and also please subscribe and click on the notification button to get all this great content that's coming up every week. Thank you.